Hello, beautiful people. You are welcome back to Seekers Fashion House channel. My name is Paula. I'm glad to have you back here again. Today, we'll be learning how to make uh, one beautiful Thai neck uh, top. For this top, I'll be using one and a half to two years of fabric by 60. Um, the fabric I'm using is uh, Italian silk. And uh, our top is going to, it's not going to have button in the front, no button, no zipper. So let's go. We'll be using 26 to 27 inches for our top length because we want it to, to be in such a way that you can, one can tuck in with it. And the measurements I'll be working with, I'll be working with bust 33, waist 28, and the hip 38. But for this top, for the fact that it's not having a button or zipper, it's going to be loose top. So which means we'll be adding to the to the measurements. Let's add like a four four inches to this uh, measurement. If I had for I mean four inches to thirty eight, which is my hip measurement, is going to give us forty two. So you divide forty two by four, it gives us a ten point five. So and I will be adding. Uh, one inch uh, same allowance to it so I'll be folding this fabric with uh, 11.5 to 12 inches the length we are using let's use a uh, 27 inches 27 inches I'll mark it okay yes we have like 12 inches here and fold 27 inches I hope this fabric will allow us to you know, draw on it so now my fabric is folded um, 27 inches length by 12 inches uh, uh, on foot so I will go ahead and get the the shoulder length, the shoulder length I'll be working with is a 15 inches divided by two, seven and a half being plus seam allowance of about an inch. I'm making eight inches, so I mark eight inches here. I I draw my armhole line. My armhole line is going to be eight inches. Let me mark a M line of about an inch. Then 8 inches is my bust line. The um, waist line is uh, 16.5. Yeah, let me mark the same. Then in allowance of half inch, inch um, 8 inches bust line. Then 16.5 then I connect it I connect my hammer line then I get my Shoulder slope of one inch. Now, the wide neck of the neck is a, we are using is three inches wideness. Three inches. Then the depth of the seven inches. We are using seven inches depth. Our neckline. Is going to be like a V, one kind V. The way I'm going to do it, I'll first of all step down uh, with like a three inches, 2.5 to 3 inches. I step down slightly, I mean slightly. This is 3 inches here. Then here I have a 3.5. I connect it. I 
connect it. Then from there, I connect to this uh, my seven inches. So this is it. Then I connect my shoulder slope. And don't forget the to draw out the joining allowance, shoulder joining allowance. Please just connect it straight up. Yes, so we get the bust on the bust line. You know, we are told that the bust measurement we are working with is 33. So for the bust, we'll be adding um, something like uh, in, like 5 inches. If we have 5 inches to, with 30, I mean, 5 inches plus 33, give us 38. So we divide 38 by 4, give us a 9.5. So we mark 9.5 on the bust line, 9.5, then seam allowance of a 1 inch, then for the, for the waist, uh, the waist we are working with is a 28, we had a 4 inches to it, making 32, we divide 32 by 4, give us a eight inches so on the waistline we mark eight inches then seam allowance of one inch then we move straight to the hip part the hip we are measurement we are working with is 38 we had four we give, give us 42 we divide 42 by four give us 10.5 10.5 we measure 10.5 here then one inch see my allowance is being added then we just connect it i'll just use free hand to to connect it because i want it to to loose especially in this uh, waist part we just need a little curve we just want it to be curvy a little bit in this uh, waist line because is not having super so the next thing is I uh, for me to do is to get my arm hole line I get my I define this 3.5 then I come in like half an inch then I connect it connect my arm hole Yes. So the next thing I do is for me to just give it a um, curve M. So at the damp part here, I just step up with uh, two inches. I mark it here. Then I connect it with my French curve. Oh, you are seeing it clearly. So this is it. The next thing is for me to cut it out. That's why we like cutting, I mean drawing, drafting this type of uh, fabric on the paper first. So this is the front cut. We want to go ahead and cut the back. And as it is, this we are going to cut facing for it. We are going to this place is going to have facing. We are going to cut it the same way the shape of the neckline is. We just um, use like a two point five half of this uh, shoulder line. Um, half of the remaining of the shoulder line. We use it then. We get our 2.5 to this end, so that will be that will serve as our facing for the front. So let's go straight to the back cut. So now I want to cut the back and I folded my fabric 
uh, public is already on foot and the, the front court is being placed on the on the to court out the back court now. So the only difference for the back now is that in the hammo, the for the back is going to come out. You know, we we move inside on the ammo line. We have an inch for the front court, but for the back court, we don't move in. So that is why I draw the um, line here. So, and the, for the neckline, the neckline is going to, it's not the same. So I will cut the neckline separately. But every other thing is the same. No zipper allowance, nothing at all. So let me just go straight. Go ahead and cut this out now. I'll be following this line I draw in. So that half inch, I just put it in back. So I will remove the front cut from it so, so we can. Let's just do it straight up. For the neckline of the back cuts, all we do is that we come down. The wideness is the same. So we just step down with 1.5. One inch is the this neckline then plus half an inch uh, joining allowance. So we just go ahead and connect it to this end. So it's three inches by one inch for the back. But for the thing, I'm joining allowance of half an inch. So we yeah, need to put it on. That's for the back cut. This is it. I've gone ahead to cut out my facing. This is the front. This is the facing for the front. This is the way I cut it. Like I get like 3.5 inches here. 3.5 inches here, then I shape it. When you open it, this is what it gives you. This is what you are having as your facing for the front. This is the back uh, facing. So you let it be on foot and cut it out. This is the facing for the back cut. This is the back cut. What you need to go and do now is to join the front and back together. Let the um, right side face the right side. Join it together with a half an inch by the side. Having done that, join the shoulder. Join the uh, shoulder lens together with half an inch, open it and iron it. I've gone ahead and joined the shoulder together and I've joined the side together with half an inch. Um, I've done the same thing to the uh, facing. So before we, before we concentrate on the neckline, let's first of all cut out the sleeve. So for the sleeve, you just measure what you are having here we have 10 inches i measure it on foot we have 10 inches excluding the joining allowance the joining allowance here is not added to it but the joining allowance by the armpit is added so we have 10 inches so <clears throat> to cut out our sleeve the round i mean upper arm circumference of the client is the 12 inches we had uh, 2 inches to hit, making 14 divided by 2, give us 7, then plus 1. That's 8 inches. So it is 8 inches we'll be using to fold our fabric to, to draw out our arm hole. I'm supposed to draw on the wrong side, but just let me make use of this fabric this way. So I'll be folding my fabric with 8 inches. So first of all, we get the length of our um, sleeve. The length 
of her sleeve is 23. That is the sleeve length, I mean, long sleeve length of her client. So I will be adding three inches to it, making 26. So I will mark 26. 26. And this is by eight inches of food. So that is what I'll be making use of. Let me just cut it out so that so I can use the wrong side of this fabric to to draw. This is what we'll be using for our sleeve. Because I will be making a sleeve with a, a smoky cuff. That is what my client requested for. So as soon as you want to make the shirt sleeve that is on the thumbnail, uh, all you need to do, if, you are, if your, your client's uh, sleeve length is 23, you deduct 3 from that 23. So you just measure. Uh, 20 inches just add a one inch uh, joining allowance to it so you mark out 21 inches so the remaining um three inches you will get the remaining three inches in the cuff so you are going to fold your cuff to get the remaining three inches that is for if you are making shirt uh, sleeve but for this one uh because of the smoke because by the time we smoke the um wrist uh, parts is going to it will jump up so that is why we added the three inches to it so we are making use of a 26 inches length so 20 26 inches by uh, eight inches so we just go ahead and draw out the 10 inches we measure in our hammer so we get it here just place your tape this way to get your 10 inches. Come. Put down your fabric with a pin. You know, this fabric is a drum, so I draw my 10 inches. <coughs> Just I mark it again to ensure that I'm on safer side. So it has passed. So as it has passed uh, <coughs> 10 inches, all I need to do is to step up here. Yes, I'm having my 10 inches now. So I'm not going to shape it at the damp part here because we are going to smoke the damp part so no need of shaping i'm going to cut two of this this is this is the sleeve so i'll be smoking on the damp part i'll be giving it like a four rolls a smoking so that is for the sleeve now the next thing we want to do now is to take care of the tied part of our top. So, and to achieve that, I cut out this um seven inches. I cut I cut out seven inches by you need seven inches by fifty by fifty inches. Let's see what we are having here. So we are having fifty four here. So we are having 7 inches by 54 inches here, so you can use 7 inches by 50 or thereabouts. So now to cut our tie now, we are going to fold it this way. Let me see how it's going to be possible. Okay, fold it into equal parts like this first because we want to cut it on fold. Then, Having folded equal, so equal part this way, then you fold it 
this way. So arrange it very well so that everything is. Let me just hold this down with my pin. My tie has been, you know, folded into. I've folded the fabric into four. Now you can see this side is unfold. You can see the way it is. So the next thing I want to do now is to measure the. This is going to be the um, neckline now. So the height of uh, the 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 collar part of that tie you are seeing there is uh, the height is one inch. So I'm going to mark one point five inches. We we'll have an inch for uh, joining allowance. So I mark one point five inches. And you know, in our in in our neckline. So you know that. Uh, you measure what you are having here. So that our one inch, the one inch, I mean one point five inch inches that we are trying to achieve here. Well, I want to, I want you to see how long we want that one inch to be, one point five inches to be before we now, you know, before we bend it to the wider part. So you are going to measure, let your fabric be on, be on foot. This is the center back. Now, you measure what you are having from that center back. You measure it to the front part where we, first of all, came down with uh, like three inches or so. Uh, 2.5 or three inches before we eventually um, rule out our fennec. So that is where our... Um, 1.5 inches is going to stop, so 7 inches. So we are going to measure that 7 inches here now. Measure it here. We mark it. Measure your 1.5 here. Then we we'll connect it with straight ruler. So from here now, from this 7 inches, so as this uh, fabric is on fold now, you know, it was seven, um, seven inches by 50 something inches. So as it is on fold now, it gives us a 3.5. So you now connect from this 1.5 to meet this, uh, the damp parts. Yes. Having done that, we now want to, we want to shape our uh, tie now. So the next thing we have to do now is to step up at this point now, the down part, just step up uh, with like 1.5 inches to 2 inches. So you now connect it to this end, slide, uh, slightly connect it. Yes. So this is what we are going to cut out now. This is so the next thing we are going to do now is to go and stitch it. We are going to stitch it with half an inch, then we turn it to the right side. So let me just explain the next thing we want to do now. So the next thing we want to do now, this is the just note the center. This is the center back. I notch it. So now, the next thing we want to do now is that, you know, when we place our fabric on fold from the center back, this way, you measure what you are having only at the back. So we have like a 3.5. So th this 3.5 now, so you get your, you know, it's on fold. You get your 3.5 this way. From the center back. This is our center back. You get it this way, 3.5. Yes. So this 3.5 now, you 
you notch it notch it notch it here as well so you have to be very careful so that it will be equal notch it so the next thing you have to do now is to go ahead and join this your tie join it from here join it with a half an inch join it straight to this end and join it here then do the same thing to this side then you now turn it out don't join this side you now turn it out from this uh, side so after turning it out so this is uh, this center now so let me assume we have uh, you know sewn down this uh, so the next thing you just do is that you take your the facing of your top and your top you know this is the way it's going to be so after you have uh, you know joined this side and this side so this remaining side just uh, hold it down stitch it down then you now insert it you get the center of your um, your center back notch it then you now insert it you insert it you know turn it turn inside you turn inside just this way you you ensure that it matches your center back let it match with the one you have notched here then you now run through you sew it through from here just sew it through to this end so you will now this is how it's going to look then you have this as your tie so that is what i'm going to do now and uh, that's our uh, all about this uh, top. I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. So drop your comments on the comment section. Try it on your own and uh, let me see the give me feedback and uh, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video.